Hi guys, I just want to make this quick video because I am so happy right now because I passed DMV's knowledge virtual test or virtual knowledge test. I did it a while ago. One take, that was just one take. And I did it at home, all right, right here. Now, if you want to know more on how to take uh, DMV's knowledge virtual test, how to do that, you better stick around and watch till the end of this video. And of course, don't forget to click like this video, click subscribe as well, and hit that bell button. This is YouTube. Online test by DMV. This is something new that DMV has offered to everyone. I did it a while ago, right here in my room. All right, the comforts of my room. Now, before, I believe everybody needs to go to the office, to the field office, to make an appointment and do the testing and all that. Well, right now, there's no need to do that anymore. Now, if you want to do it online, well, you can do it. Now, that is just what I did. And I'm going to guide you through on how to do this online. Step one, you have to visit DMV's official website, and that is dmv.ca.gov or gov all right so you have to make an account there okay you have to sign up create your account and then you have to go through all those procedures if you are eligible to get a license now you, you can find everything there online all right so i don't need to discuss that further so after creating an account you need to pay the uh, the driving test fee, which was around right, uh, $33 to $35. And that is not refundable. Now I pay that in January of this year. And I just thought, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to pay the fee for now, but I'm going to take the exam later. So I pay the testing fee and immediately after you do that, you will receive an email. That is the confirmation that you have paid the testing fee and in that email, there is also a link provided wherein you can use that to do the exam online. I didn't do the exam right away because I was scared, you know, because I thought I wasn't ready. I thought that I'm going to fail the exam if I'm going to click that right away. I mean, I've been driving back into Philippines, but um, I just think that I'm not going to I'm not going to pass the exam if, if I was to do that right away because I, was, I wasn't ready. I hate exams, okay? I hate exams and I also hate failing. So it took me like two months to finally decide to, to read the manual because in the website, there is also the handbook or the manual, the DMV manual that you can download and PDF file. That is where you should read and study, all right? The, the, the traffic signs and everything, the traffic rules, all right? And... Actually, that was last week. I decided to really read the manual. This is another step that you should do. You should study the manual. Now, a lot of my friends are telling me that you should just, you know, you can just watch videos on YouTube on about, you know, driving testing. You can just watch, actually, you can do that. It's up to you. For me, I read the manual from page one to the last page because I want to learn. I want to know all these traffic rules that govern California. And I'm a law-abiding citizen. I always make sure that I follow the rules each time I drive. So I read the manual from page one to the last page. That was last week. And I thought I was ready. So today, March 29, I took the exam. That was in the morning, all right? As mentioned, you will receive a link after you pay the, the testing fee and you can click you can still click on that link so that you will be diverted all right you'll be diverted to the exam page okay now after you click that link you'll be diverted to the exam page and you will have to download there is a prompt there that you need to download the virtual proctor or something but that is easy you can just download that that is going to be an extension to your google chrome um, browser so that is the, the thing that will allow you to do the exam online. And also bear in mind that you can take the test between 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. somewhere there. It's like business hours for DMV. So you can take the test in that period. So you can take the test in the evening. You only have to take the test during business hours, okay? And you have to make sure, all right? You have to make sure that nobody's there around you. It's only you taking the test. It may be an online testing, okay? But still, there is a camera 
fix on your face and the microphone of your computer has to be turned on just to make sure that nobody is coaching you. Nobody is telling you the right answer, all right? Now, okay, you can't use mobile phones. You can't use tablets. You need a laptop or a computer with a camera and a microphone. So exam day, that was the day I woke up so early, like 7.30 in the morning. And I took the, I visited the website, okay? I clicked the link that was around eight o'clock and it took me like 30 minutes to install everything and to make myself ready online. So I took the test and I must say that the exam was not difficult at all. And the thing about online testing is that you will know if you're making mistakes or not. Because if you choose the wrong answer, if you go to the next question, it'll appear if that your answer was correct or not. In my case, um, I think I got three mistakes. And the items were like 49 or 48 items. And then you were allowed only to make eight mistakes, as far as I know. And well, I got only three mistakes. So that is why I passed immediately on my first take. So my tip to everyone, if you really wanna pass your knowledge test, DMV knowledge test, you can watch YouTube videos on how to pass the knowledge test, okay? There are a lot of videos that offer questions, um, knowledge test questions, DMV knowledge test questions. But for me, the best thing that I can give you, the best advice that I can give you, I mean, is to read the manual from page one to the last page, cover to cover. Um, it's like a total of 116 pages. So it's not really difficult at all. It's not difficult to understand. For me, I like to read all those, uh, those traffic rules and traffic signs because there's just so many traffic signs here that I don't understand. And it helps me because I'm driving and um, I'm also a passenger as well and a pedestrian too. So I will know if I am doing the right thing when I'm on the road. It's not necessary for you to buy those cheap sheets. I mean, I read about them online too, that um, people are offering about this cheat sheets, you know. Um, I think it's not helpful, but if, if you think that it can help you, okay, go ahead. But the thing is, as long as you understand the traffic signs and as long as you understand the rules of the road, and if you are really reading DMV manual, I can guarantee you that you will pass the knowledge test. And in my case, I did. I just did it only once and I had three mistakes. That was the day I passed the knowledge test. So after taking the exam online, you will receive an email saying that, congratulations, you passed the exam. So what I did immediately, I went to DMV office here in Los Angeles because I just want to get my driving permit right away, which I did. So that's the next step. If you pass, if you get the, the if you pass the exam, all right, you get the email, you have to go to the DMV office to complete your application. And then you will get your photograph taken, your thumbprint as well and you will have to schedule for a driving lesson, okay? Now, if you think you're already confident that you no need driving lessons, now it's up to you. You can do that. You can just do the driving with somebody who is also a licensed driver. You can borrow a car, or if you have a car of your own, you can do that. But in my case, I enrolled myself in a driving school. And after that, it's going to be another test, which is the actual driving test with DMV. So you better stick around, watch out for that because I'll be making an update um, of the result of my driving test, all right? And guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and hit that bell button. This is Gia Chute.